So, after a long time, I decided to fire up my beautiful PlayStation 3 Slim again, but just to realize that it suffered the yellow light of death. I don't know why, cause in the last year or so it wasn't really used. So it seems, um, yeah, it just got it from laying around and doing nothing. But nevertheless, when I try to start it now, this is what happens. The normal beep at the start. Yeah. Followed by a clicking noise, um, a short yellow light, and then a blinking red one. Yeah, and the thing is now, I have at least found a temporary solution for this problem. Um, I wouldn't recommend to yeah, start up and use the system like I will show you now in a few seconds over a long period of time since I don't know what it will do to your PlayStation. But the thing is you can start it up with the yellow light of death and yeah, can use it as usual. You can play games, watch videos, whatever. Um, yeah, and the yeah trick behind this is um, when you push the start button and hold it for three seconds, um, the system will send a signal to all sources of your television. I can show you that. I will just push this button here of the remote control. And as you can see, these are the sources. And the system will send the signal to these sources. And you normally need this um, when you buy the system and yeah, fire it up for the first time. But now we can yeah, use it to fool the yellow light of death. And yeah, as you can see, we have this red blinking light. Now I will try to push the button once. Yeah, either it stops blinking by pushing it once, or in yeah, this case, I have to pull the plug in the back and yeah, put it right back in. So now as you can see, it stopped blinking. And yeah, now I will try to do that little trick. I will push the button, hold it until it beeps once, release it and push it again for a few seconds and then release it again. And what happened now is um, I forced the system to shut down right before the yellow light appears. Um, yeah, and normally you will have to repeat this step like I would say, let's say four or five times. This will eventually warm up the PlayStation a bit in the inside. And yeah, I think this is the only reason why the thing <laughs> isn't working in the first place. Somehow, over the years, um, yeah, some, something broke in there and now you need a bit of yeah, temperature in it to start it up. And yeah, that's the whole trick behind it. I will do it one more time. So I push the button. And just shut it down again. Yeah, so and now I will just try to, yeah, turn it on normally. Just press the button once and let's see what happens. Maybe I need one more try, but yeah, we will see. Yeah, it's probably not warm enough yet. Just either push the button and if that's not working, just pull the plug. It's just a bit fiddling around. That's what I did. And how I found out this yeah, little problem solver. So, just one more time. Oh, 
Um, I don't really know which version of the slim is this is. Should be the first after the last fat one. Because there are many versions of the PlayStation 3. But yeah, I think this should work on all slims of this generation. Which look like this. Yeah, so let's try it one more time. And as I said, I think this is somehow temperature related. Yeah, now again. <laughs> so, no, it's... Um, let me press the button and... Yeah, it stopped blinking. Maybe it works now. As I said, it's just a little bit fiddling around. And yeah, it's temperature related. Something over the years just broke inside. And yeah, you don't have to disassemble it, so that's like an easy fix, <laughs> if you like so. And yeah, it can vary from system to system. Maybe it takes a few more tries with the old system. Like here now, it's just a bit fucked up. <laughs> But now, as you can see, it's not shutting down. Now let's see what happens. Either it's just running like this and not showing any sign on the TV. Or, yeah, it will show a sign. But if it doesn't show a sign, I already had this situation then it's not a bad thing, you just let it running. As you can see, it's not shutting down. Let it warm up a bit. And I think, yeah, it sh should be all right already. So I will just force it again to shut down. Now you have to press it for a little longer. I just hold it here. few seconds yeah and now in all theory when I push it again it should start up let's give it one last try now it should be warm enough inside yeah voila it's working, even though it has the yellow light of death. As I said, I wouldn't recommend to do this over a long period of time, but now it's a, like a easy short fix. You can use it to play games and do stuff and yeah. Here the controller, I just push the PlayStation button. Press X and yeah, as you can see, it does load a bit. And yeah, that's it. It's running. I hope this video helped you guys. Please subscribe to my channel and yeah, see ya.